Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 20 career mode. Here today on the channel, we're back on our Borussia Dortmund Ultimate Difficulty Fivers Realism Modded Career Mode as Borussia Dortmund. So guys, if you still are enjoying it, feel free to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new out here with notifications on, let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series thus far. After 10 games played, we sit 3 points behind Bayern Munich. Here today, we have a chance to claw back that with an away match against them at the Allianz Arena. Then uh, the next week, we face Rosenball Leipzig in the calendar. So let's get stuck into Bayern Munich here today. We have beaten them earlier in the season 3-1. Erling Haaland on his Borussia Dortmund official debut scored a brace. And Marco Royce, or was it Brandt? I can't remember. Secured the victory there, making it 3-1. Uh, Pavard scored for them. So in this first season on Fiverr's Realism Mod on Ultimate Difficulty on Match Day 11, let's have a look at how Bayern Munich's team uh, lines up. They look like they've got Luka Modric in midfield, Rob Lewandowski, Gnagri, Coutinho. Still got the likes of Neuer in goal, Pavard, Hernandez, Sul and Alba. I just don't like that when they play... I, I know they play like functionally, functionally uh, Pavard... Uh, as a sort of right-sided centre-back and Theo Hernandez is sort of a left start sort of left back in a 4-3-3 but I just prefer where I like to see them internationally Pavard uh, in the fullback position along with uh, um, Lucas Hernandez because I just feel like they just get massively overexposed but uh, Haaland there scores his eighth goal of the campaign started things off right for Borussia Dortmund in the derby, Gnagri back to Pava, Antiago Alcantara to Robert Lewandowski, Luka Modric signing on a massive fee from uh, Real Madrid, hits the post there, nearly putting uh, Bayern Munich in front. The Bavarians still continue to charge under their Polish striker, Robert Lewandowski, and he does the business there, committing his full body over the Dortmund defender there to make it 1-1. It's a sizzler kick of a goal f uh, past Berkey in the 19th minute there. And he scored his 12th goal of the season. Three points separate Dortmund and Bayern. The main objective of this series is to win the Bundesliga, of course. And win as much pieces of silverware as we can. I'll consider this a failure if we don't. Sane there charging at uh, David Alaba, but couldn't quite break the left back. Luka Modric now pushing out on the left, drawing three Dortmund players in, but he's actually beaten at Axel Witzel there to Coutinho now. Modric puts it into the box. Schultz gets the shot away. Holland waiting for the... Long, protracted run of Sane. But Holland and Royce were carving through Bayern's defence. It's all to put in the tackle. If he got the ball, that might have been a foul. Top rack comes flying in as Matt Hummels is still out with injury. Rob Lewandowski nearly feeds through Coutinho. Berkey, the Swiss international, rushes the clearance. Alaba intercepts as Thiago. Thiago Alcantara to nearly score there, dragging it to the left. 1-1 one, one is the scoreline. Very few things can separate these two sides. It's marginal differences. Sane now puts it airily to Hazard. Witzel on the chest. Can't get foot to ball and scrambles in the final third. So close there, Witzel. Talking Hazard actually got a bit in the way. It could have even been handball. Gnagri on the right in the second half now. Toprax had to come back from his loan due to Hummels' injury. But life without Sancho overall is still going quite well. With the amount of money we brought in for Sancho, whopping £155 million, pounds, we were able to go out and buy Leon Bailey and Sane because of it. Hazard now on the right, pushing forward, coming a lot more into the first team than he was earlier on in the career rebuild series. Goretzka now to Thiago. They've sold a lot of players 
Bayern Munich, and they've brought some in. They've also brought in Marcus Rashford, so he's on the bench. I wonder if he'll make an appearance in this match. And they sold Jerome Boateng to buy out Leverkusen. They signed a lot of defenders, Leverkusen. They also signed uh, Rudiger from Chelsea. Coutinho now. Beats one, beats two. Nearly beats uh, Berkey to the post. And Julian Brandt gets a yellow card for his occasions. Right, it's time to make some substitutions. We want to put this match away and without a shadow of a doubt. Leon Bailey. Aubameyang. And as the ball comes on. A good ball over the top to the number 17 at Leon Bailey. He's in the box here now. He has to go all the way on the left foot. His preferred one. And it's Leon Bailey, the Jamaican international, to make a 2-1 just before the 66. The former Bayer Leverkusen man comes fresh off the bench with rapid, high-octane pace and uh, converts it for his second goal of the Bundesliga season. Get in. We can claw back these points against Bayern. Away at the Allianz Arena. It's always a tough one. The Bavarians domestically and even internationally are just so prolific. And they're still relentlessly going forward there. Oh, here's a ball. Dragging four players in. They're just trying to quickly snuff out that counter-attack. But it's incredibly hard to get Hakimi there. Leon Bailey finds a bummy young. It's 3-1. But it's offside. Oh, no. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang rises to the occasion. And it's just offside. He, he had the pace. He's got his pace to recover. He wasn't even marked. Should have stayed onside. Thiago now. Modric back to Thiago and Katara. Oh, my God. Our defense holds vast. Dortmund pushing forward here now. Royce with a little stutter. Davies, the Canadian international, the next so-called wonder kid. It's going to be interesting to see where Bayern implement him in the future. He likes playing on the left, maybe as a winger, but he could be sort of the natural replacement to David Alba eventually. The Austrian international from Filipino descent. He's got an amazing free kick on him. Can play central, attacking midfield, even centre back, but he prefers left back. Uh, Leon Bailey. Royce gets the shot away. Neuer from the corner kick here now. Not wasting any time about it, just bombs it north. Hakimi wins it, but it's a struggle because it bounces everywhere and Davies gets it in the end. But that's it, the full-time whistle has blown in the massive occasion and rivalry and derby between Dortmund and Bayern. Dortmund come out on top. After 15 games played, we sit on 40 points with a game in hand on Bayern with 16 and 40. Julian Nagelsmann's Hoffen... Oh, he plays for... No, he's... Uh, yeah, he's RB now, isn't he? I'm just so used to saying Julian Nagelsmann's Hoffenheim. <laughs> so they sit in uh, third... Um, our team is still holding very much together. Unfortunately, Hakimi's picked up an injury. I feel like we've been a little bit unlucky with injuries this season. However, Dortmund do have a lot of quality players in reserve, so we can rotate our, substitute, our substitutions and reserves uh, adequately throughout the squad. And uh, Pisek is going to come on. Oh, oh, no, Rafael Guerrero is going to be inverted, who's better. Um, but Pishik is, is quite uh, adamant as well. So uh, RB Leipzig, we're going to be hosting at Signal Laduna Park. And we're going to be hosting them. They have lost Timo Werner to Barcelona. Funnily enough, he's left for £50 million. And they are one less striker short up top. So who are they going to be playing with Paulson? Schick. They got Patrick Schick in, did they? Well, that's a hell of a replacement. Different style of player. I like it. I like it a lot. They've still got Pitao, that Hungarian goalkeeper. Ampakano as well. Onkalu. Uh, yeah, Patrick Schick. And Paulson. Two large, very tough and physical players up top with a huge amount of potential. Two bruisers, two battlers. Schick and Paulson. It's kind of like playing like Van Persie and maybe like a bigger Wayne Rooney. <laughs> I, I, I guess. But uh, played for Roma 
I do, do believe Schick and Paulson there breaks away the Danish international. It's going to be the battle of the Scandinavians this match, or the Nordic countries, if it will, if you will. Uh, Paulsen for Denmark and Erling Haaland for Norway. And Haaland, can he beat Ampecano? He bombs it wide. They've got a lot of quality defenders. Um, Rasenball, Leipzig. And Haaland there has just buried two of them. Haaland scores and makes it a 1-0 just before the 12th minute there. Uh, who else do they have? Konate, that's it. Ampucano um, is a little bit more expensive. But they're good solid career mode players. But regardless, Haaland has scored his 10th goal of the league campaign. Rafael Guerrero pushing forward here now. I opted to go with him and should have Pischek as a sp uh, speed and pace. But it was Sane to create the space there to make it 2-0 just before the 22nd. It's Leroy Sane, the number 7 here at Borussia Dortmund to make it 2-0 at Signal Iduna Park to score his 10th goal of the league campaign. I love how we're not relying on one person for goals. Every single one of these players in the Dortmund starting 11 are adequately capable of going the distance, going their own way and putting a quality shot on goal. Marco Royce here now makes it 3-0. A nice little cutback waiting for fellow players to drift back into the box. It's Marco Royce, the captain, to make it 3-0 against RB Leipzig. I do recommend going checking out my Wolfsburg game if you haven't gone and seen it. Seven goals we scored in that run. Uh, Marco Royce has scored 14 this season, four coming from that Wolfsburg match. Campbell pushing forward. But looking at out of all the performances, maybe we should sort of do what Bayern Munich do and, and try and poach as much... Um, Oh, quality opposition where we can. We need to push on from our winning position. So let me know in the comments, players you would like me to sign in January, because we are pushing Bayern Munich, but they are matching us as well. Berkey trying to bring it out, can't quite. On Kalu. Paulson. Back to Rasenball. Rebel Leipzig go forth again. 3 0 down. From the corner kick it now. I believe the corner kick taker used to be a Spurs player, but the ball comes in venomously. Oh, can't believe it. Got to watch out for that, Berkey. Royce. Haaland. Sane. Take a touch and go. Yes! Leroy Sane has miraculously slipped through here. Royce turns and covers. It's Holland. Yes! Holland started off the attempt there. And Royce was exhausted in the 64th. But took his time. Cool, calm and collected. Took a breather. Thought intelligently about the space. And it was an outstanding touch there. Look at this. Nice little flick on from Sane. And Holland comes charging through. Like a bull in the china shop. Schick. They're just too physical. And because they're losing the ball so quickly and there's so many counter-attacks and transitions, they are just too sluggish. Somehow Hummels has found himself up the other end there, nearly looking to whip it in. Toprak is having his break now that Hummels is back from his injury. My team is exhausted by the amount of matches we've had here. And I'm sure the opposition is as well. We're going to do our triple threat substitution, bring on Leon Bailey and Aubameyang. Hopefully we can mount further pressure on with our triple threat substitution. They are s uh, this, they're getting back some dignity in this match. Oh, good shot on target there. Looking to bend it. Sabitza. I believe one of our former players. We had something to do with Dortmund off the top of my head. Brandt, Aubameyang gets it centrally, Dortmund try to feed it out wide, Guerrero looks keen and interested, Aubameyang might nearly have to go all the way here, there are a lot of opportunities are closing down there, but still 4-0, Royce, where's oh, the ball, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, Mikkel tackles. Campbell. Brandt. Isabel. Shoots and scores. That's what I wanted to see more of earlier on in the season. It's taken, what, 10? 10, 14, 15 matches, I'd say, this season to get him firing. But it's good to see Mikel Oyazabal get up on the score sheet. I've heard a lot about him in career mode. He's got a sensational potential, a hell of a left foot. And now he's scored his second goal of the Bundesliga. Just the amount of just like flux and moving parts we had with our wingers, I think I'm happy to settle on Sane Hazard in the starting 11 on the left and right, respectively. And then... Depending on injuries and stamina and exhaustion, we'll rotate with Leon Bailey and Oyazabal as well. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games maybe some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs for Ultimate Team or maybe just some games I really do recommend checking out my affiliation link G2A there's some really good prices so even just going looking around to be honest anyway uh, the Patreon Stinger there as well come and join the community on Steam my name has been Simpsy stay tuned for more videos on the channel make sure to take care of yourselves have a fantastic rest of your day my name has been Simpsy goodbye Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.